I want to double back because, uh, you know, earlier you kind of alluded to this when we were talking and I told you we would, we would um, you know, chop it up about it. But you, you made a statement. You said you didn't get a dime off your debut album. It, no, that I mean, can't, it's not, I, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That can't outside of outside of your events. You you said you you, you know every artist get an advance. Mm -hmm. You got ten ten racks. Yeah, just ten. Is is that the last payment that you ever seen? Uh, now I got another ten for supposedly working on my second album, but that collapsed too. So with 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 that being said, like I made money. Off make the trap say, hey, yes, by doing shows before I separated from them, 50% of my show money was getting took too. 50%? 50. Okay. I know, and I'm only asking this because I worked at a record label for many years. Okay. Um, so I understand how much, it, let's just even say you were signed to a 360 deal. Mm -hmm. um, I understand how much you're supposed to get taken from you um, from the label. I also understand if you were being managed. Now, were you being managed by the same people you assigned to? Correct. The, but it still wouldn't add up to 50. You, you, are you sure you got those numbers right? 50%? It still wouldn't add up to 50%. Yeah. I was uh, getting 15 grand a show back then. I was only picking up the seventy, the back end seventy five. I never seen the front end money on none of the shows when I was with them people. They, I got finagled into the front end of the show money juice is going back into the company. But then I had to illustrate it. I don't own the company, so why am I putting fifty percent into a company I don't own? And what was the answer? When when no answer. Okay, this is a question that I that I have for for all artists. Just to be fair to the record label side, to be fair to the management side because many artists always say I got jerked by, you know, the people I was signed to. Mm -hmm. Um where was your lawyer? You 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 did did you sign a contract? I mean, it's standard to have a lawyer. I signed without a lawyer. How is that even possible that you can sign a, a contract without a lawyer? Um, the thing was, I was, I I told them folk that if I make it out the hospital from being shot eight times, I'm coming to sign. And you know what I'm saying? I, I looked at that one person from that label as like a mama figure. So a lot of stuff we did out for handshake type, nod your head, yeah, yeah, type shit. So me, damn near dying from diabetes because my blood sugar was like a fucking eight, nine hundred something. I, I get diagnosed with diabetes one week. Seven days later, I get shot eight times. So in the process of that, the person who I was signed to come in, see me in the hospital, fucked up, done the, we're like down bad off the diabetes one week. They get my you know, hey, juice, what are you doing? You want, you know, these folks want to sign you. I can get you to these white people in New York. I can do this, I can do that. But me, I'm still street mode wise. I didn't really have a whole bunch of belief in I can make it with the route. So I'm like, yeah, I hear you, whoop, whoop, but I got this street shit going on that's bringing way more money. Whoop, whoop. So, I get shot a week later, seven days, six days later. They back in the hospital like, yo, dude, what are you doing? You on your deathbed, bro. You don't got diabetes. You don't got shot. Let me get you to the white folk. Let me get you out the street. All right. Boom. It's like a mama figure whoop the whoop to me. You know what? When I get out the hospital, I'm coming straight to the office to sign. Had the paperwork ready. Boom. I pull up. Here go the paperwork. I ain't got no lawyer, no, nobody on my behalf, but I know what I told you. So I kept my word. I came inside. No lawyer, no nothing involved. You, you might have had your people on the side. Woo -woo. The people who I signed to might have had they people on the side line. Woo -woo. I had no one. I just went up there and 
I don't even want to, and this is what I told you folks, I don't even want to read the contract. Show me why I signed it. Damn. Um, okay, so I got to, at some point, you got to take some of this blame. I'm assuming you be. I, I know man. I fucked up. Yeah, I, and I admit of me fucking up. I didn't really. And see, you got to look at it. I'm coming from the street, so I don't know nothing about music, but I know I know how to rap. And that's what I ran with. I fucked up. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you gotta own that because if 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 what you saying is a hundred percent, you gotta own a part of that. That's you I, know, and I did. Yeah, I did. you I, no, you, you did. As a man, I'm I'm sitting here and I'm listening. I to fucked you. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no if, if and buts about that. Yeah, I went up there and I jumped out the porch, if you call it, jump, jump, jumped in the water with the shards. Okay, let me ask you: Did you ever? confront these people and say, you know, I messed up. I, no, I, I waited. I let it get better. And once I started finding out what was missing, I, I, I stepped away like, you know what? I'm cool. So what I did after that was, it was a, it's two, it's two contracts. One signed to get with you and one side to get away from you. So you never actually said, I signed this contract in good faith. Y'all know I was, I was, I was loyal. Um, I just went through the worst period of my life. Uh, you know, I had diabetes, I got shot, and y'all was there for me when I needed it. So I'm asking you to be here for me when I need it, again, this contract is unfair. Let us renegotiate. You never uh -huh. had that conversation. My my negotiation will let me out the contract. Okay, if you want to get out, you got to sign this right here. And this right here basically states, you sign this, you cannot come back and sue us for anything dealing with the other side of the trap for your life and 10 years after your life. For your natural life? Yeah, for my life and 10 years after my life. So if you left this earth, your kids can't even sue for 10 years after you're gone? Correct. That was in writing or told to you? No, that was in writing, in the country. That's to, get, to get away from you, country. It's two country. One to get what you want to get away from. Okay. The second contract, did you have a lawyer? Yes. And so now your lawyer has a chance to read through and your lawyer is telling you, you this can't do anything about um, back royalties, anything. Yeah, I, look, I told the lawyer, I'm gonna keep it 1000, I told the lawyer, Tell her, come on with what she coming on with. I let her have the other side of the trap. She let me away. But I, me not knowing back then, the other side of the trap was going to have my biggest record that made a lot of money. I didn't know that. Nobody really schooled me on it. I just know I felt like in my heart, hey, bro, you fucked up signing them bad paperwork. Just get away from them and try it again. But not knowing it, it wasn't going to be that same momentum when I first started. Yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's, and this is for any artist. This is for any businessman. It's hard to catch lightning in a bottle twice. Um, Real talk. You know, and, and maybe from their standpoint, they made you. They, they put all of their resources and money into making, you had the talent, obviously, but you needed their vehicle. You needed their, their yeah, financial true. backing. True. You know, wow. Sorry to hear that, brother. Um, damn, so where does that situation stand now? Oh, uh, shit. I mean, I'm independent. I'm away from them. I, but I don't, uh, I can't tell you I own the rights to make the trap say, hey. Eh? 